In the latest versions of Open Buildings Designer, we can produce drawings with hatch patterns that adjust according to the drawing scale. For example, in the drawing on my screen, I have the annotation scale set to 1 is to 50. So if I change the annotation scale to 1 is to 100, notice the change in the hatch pattern scale. Similarly, if I change it back to a lesser scale, for example, 1 is to 25, so the hatch patterns become denser. In this tip, I'm going to show you how we can create this setup. So the first step is we need to have a cell library which has a cell that is enabled with the option called to be placed as annotation cell. To do that, we open the cell library in Open Buildings Designer, like what I have shown in screen here. So notice here I have opened the work set arcpad.cel, the cell library file. So we select the particular model inside the cell library and here I have a cell library which represents the concrete patterns. So select the particular cell library and look at the property information of that cell library. We will notice that there is a setting called it can be placed as annotation cell. Ensure that the value is set to true. Okay, so that is the first step. So we have a cell library now called concrete to annotation, which can be placed as annotation cell. Coming back to the drawings, let's take a look at how we can apply the cell with annotation scale to the drawing. Notice here in this drawing, we are using a display style called cut drawing black for the cut plane. Okay, so we need to apply a display rule for this particular display style to ensure that the hatch patterns will adjust according to the annotation scale. So let's do that now. So to open the display styles, I'm going to search in the ribbon called display styles. I'm opening the display styles dialog and I'm able to find the cut drawing black. And notice here, there is a section for display rules and we can create our own display rules. If needed, display rules can be saved in libraries as well. So let's select the option here to open the display rules dialog and we can create our own rules. So first I'm going to create a new rule set and I'm going to call this as project hatch. You can give any name you want. Okay. So once we create a rule set, we add a new rule and in this new rule should be applied to a set of elements. So we first specify which set of elements would need to be selected for this rule to be processed. So clicking on applies always button will allow us to select the list of elements. So I'm selecting the elements based on domain properties, which is open buildings domain properties. And I am selecting concrete columns and look for the property where I want to specify the part name. So the part name for the column I used is columns and hit OK. So now when we process this rule, it is going to select all the columns in my design, which is having the part name set up as columns. And to that, we specify a re-symbolization action. So click this plus icon and we wanted to re-symbolize the hatch for these columns. So select the hatch area and pick the small hatch button here to specify a particular type of hatch. So I wanted to apply the hatch based on the cell library we have created. So I choose the third option called pattern area. And in this dropdown, we can select the cell library which we have created. 
which is the concrete to annotation and we specify the scale of the pattern so for example i'm using a scale of 0 0.05 and we turn on the setting called annotation lock on so that's the setting we needed for our cell libraries to adjust based on the annotation scale and we process it as a hatch okay so i set the scale and close this dialog close this dialog that's all we need and for this particular cut black drawing then we can apply the display rule called project hatch so when we apply the rule you notice here and the rule is applied and i have a dynamic view when i update the drawing then you can see that uh, the hatch pattern is updated so i have already created a rule called smart hatch which has two rules in it one rule for the concrete column and the other room other rule for the brick wall okay so when i apply the smart hatch rule update my drawing so notice here that the hatch patterns have re-symbolized and changing the drawing scale or the annotation scale of the drawing will also change the scale of the hatch patterns If you found this video helpful, please give it a like. If you want to see more such series, consider subscribing to our channel. Thank you, and see you next time.